Hi, this is Jeff Health, the Health Therapy. Uh, today, July 1, um, we're gonna talk about uh, this guy. It's a Nakano Astro model. It has some issues. We're gonna fix that one. But uh, that's not the topic for today. The topic for today is this guy. So most of you guys have this kind of problem. Technically speaking, there is nothing left inside this liner. Okay, just to compare what it should look like, I'll show you. Okay, so we have uh, almost similar generation, but this is what it should look like. So, see the difference? Okay, uh, let me. Okay, don't move. Alright, so see the difference. This is chubby. Well, not really chubby, but it has something inside it. Sponge. And this guy. Poof. Nothing. Nothing inside. So this is something inside. See? Well, anyways. Alright. Uh, let's cut to the chase. What we're going to discuss today is uh, putting sponge inside your neck roll. Okay. So, uh, this is a... <laughs> probably a five day one week project as I have to schedule the, uh, the sewing woman I'm not sure how to translate it in English mananahe <laughs> anyways so uh, okay moving forward okay how to do this uh, it's very easy first things first you have to have a material okay due to company secrecy you have to buy a very good sponge mine is made in USA so you have to research that and then uh, template so I have uh, a template for it this is my own template very sophisticated see that <laughs> anyways so um, when you have your template and you have your material material the next thing is to start the process but I'm not going to cut it right now because uh, this is more like um, a guide uh, how to guide but uh, maybe pretty soon we're gonna show you on how we do it so anyways so you have your bread cutter which is highly effective for this guy so once you cut it uh, in this is more like three sections so this is the first this is the second and this is the third section the reason why we're gonna do it that way is because that the sponge that I can actually get my hands on is only this big how I wish that it could be like this big so anyways uh, maybe uh, soon but uh, or somewhere out there somebody is selling it okay moving forward all right so once we cut it in three pieces you now have to measure the thickness, which is normally 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeter is roughly uh, that. Very scientific approach, yeah, right? Accurate measurement. So once you get your thickness, it's time to prepare for surgery. So probably that's where I got the the pet name doc. Dog Jeff. Okay, so you're gonna 
cut it here then you have a hole and then once you have a hole you can now insert your first okay i want to do first your second section actually this is the second and then your last is the center piece to avoid crumpling or you know heavy traffic inside everybody's bumping you know. so, just to avoid uh, the two longer uh, portion of this neck roll and once you have completed it eh, it will not look awkward that there's a there's a cut here or somewhere that it's very unusual looking anyways so moving forward uh, once you get get the, the sponge uh, or you have made your surgery insert the sponge you close it and then normally in order for you to make sure that the sponge go all the way up to here you have to massage it and then once you press this edge or the tip of this liner you should be able to have a spongy feeling and if so that means that this side is done then you repeat the same method on the other side technically speaking that's how to do it all right so uh, watch out for my post I do hope you enjoyed this guide uh, not going to show it to you probably uh, in another video but uh, good luck guys this is Jeff Wong the helmet therapy please subscribe to my YouTube Jeff, Jeff Wong and then my Facebook page of course the helmet therapy uh, my personal of course is the Jeff Wong helmet specialist uh, either way you could actually communicate me either of the two all right so guys uh, if you have questions don't hesitate just reach out reach out all right thank you and have a nice afternoon bye guys